will move on to the topic two. That is, uh, in the previous topic, we looked at about how the recruitment and selection process overall planning has to be done. As the you know probably to percolate on that particular planning, we are going ahead further on this particular thing. How do we forecast how many number of people we require? That is forecasting a personal need. So that starts with you know planning and a forecasting and uh, employment or a personal planning as to you know the process has to be worked out deciding on what positions we require you know people to be get filled because you know uh, sometimes the company might be expanding or they might be you know probably coming out of the new kind of a projects or sometimes you know uh, your own department some of the positions people might have left the job due to various reasons it could be a resignation or it could be let's say retirement or it could be health related issues it could be various kind of a reason so there will be a lot of positions will be vacant and we need to look at it how do how are we going to fill them how many such kind of a post or a, you know thing is vacant and how are we going to you know look at it so that's the way actually you know overall planning has to be done and once that planning has been done the next step is succession planning succession planning is nothing but you know it's a it's a process through which we decide how to fill that particular company's most important uh, you know executive jobs by which kind of a post comes first and what is the post next and that's the way actually you know we work on succession planning and uh, what to forecast you know we need to forecast on three major aspect one is overall personal need how many number of people we require against each position and each locations so that's the way actually we are going to do a forecasting so normally you know the forecasting will be done like based on the position similar kind of a skilled categories we try to you know look at how many number of people require then you know probably when we try to uh, go in for an you know little funnel detail then we'll get an idea about each position how is that you know which location and what kind of position so that's a way actually we can able to you know come out of the planning second kind of you know forecasting is supply of your own inside candidates your own inside candidates means your own ex existing employees might be you know qualified to fill that particular position so whom are we going to consider it can be you know both democratic method as well as you know let's say the company themselves can select and then uh, give them an offer so that's the way actually we can look into it and the third kind of you know forecasting is how how many number of people we might require to, you know probably source it from outside the uh, you know organization that means external candidates so these are the ways actually you know three level of uh, forecasting has to be done now we'll come to the first part of it that is uh, uh, forecasting a personal need there are different kind of you know forecasting tools have been used uh, there are three methods have been commonly adopted one is the trend analysis the name itself implies look at your past historical data as to each year let's say in the marketing or a sales department this is one of the department actually you know frequent employee turnover will be there that's the reason i'm given this particular example so you know that's a way actually you know look at the past trend as to each year beginning of the uh, you know financial year if you look into it actually you know every company if you look at it actually when a company you know fresh graduates comes and joins the organization by may or april month i mean uh, june month april to you know june month a lot of fresh candidates will come and join but all the fresh uh, you know graduates will not continue their job for more than 3 or 4 months or 6 months so naturally you know what happens is every time in the year beginning if you look into it more number of people will be joined and uh, the mid probably around october november many people leaves the organization so that's a general trend that's a way actually you know every positions and every kind of an you know job there will be certain kind of a trend so by analyzing the past history of data we can able to collect those details and the next one is a ratio analysis when we talk about ratio analysis we try to find out uh, what is the kind of position is uh, uh, you know probably available and versus probably you know how many number of people are applied for and how many people will get into that particular post that's a way actually ratio analysis and the third one is a scatter uh, you know uh, plotting uh, scatter plotting scatter plotting is nothing but we try to you know probably uh, draw a graph through the graph we try to you know find out that how many number of people we require over a years and period and uh, what is the kind of a post and what is the kind of you know uh, numbers are there that's the way actually we try to look at it now let's come to the you know traditional kind of a method a uh, traditional forecasting techniques that has got its own drawbacks uh, actually you know the traditional forecasting they focus on projections and historical relationship naturally you know when we look at history or the back back data naturally you know the back data will not be very very relevant for a current uh, day to day requirement 
and they do not consider the impact of strategic initiatives on future staffing level because every time the company's position might be different and the you know con uh, client uh, requirement might be different based on the client requirement even the strategy of the overall organization also will change they might expand they might consolidate they might you know probably try to get in for a joint venture or they will go for a merger and acquisitions based on all these things you know your strategy and the entire hr plan will change so naturally the old traditional techniques does not consider those aspects and they support you know compensation plans that reward managers for managing the you know ever ever larger kind of a staff and uh, they actually you know bake in the idea that staff increases are inevitable they think that every time staff is has to be increased they actually you know that that that's a kind of you know way they'll be looking at and they validate and uh, instill institute institutionalize the present planning process and the usual way of doing the things and that's a way if, if you look at it actually you know it has got its own drawbacks now let's try to look at it actually you know using in computers how we can forecast the personal requirement there is a computerized forecast is available uh, the software actually you know which can give you a complete estimation about what is the kind of a staffing you require and uh, that actually you know what do they do is they will try to project the sales versus number of people that's a normal kind of a trend that means they will look at it for coming years what will be the sales forecast what is the projected sales number they will try to compare that with uh, you know probably the volume of production and uh, in order to produce that particular number of uh, you know uh, units or what you call the production how many number of people we require that's the way actually they try to look at the ratio and other way of looking at it actually you know forecasting staffing level for a direct labor indirect staff and an exempt ex, you know exemplary or probably and very very uh, special kind of you know skill set of people so that's the way they'll try to forecast and the third one is actually you know you try to create a matrix uh, for a direct labor hours and uh, you know try to uh, connect with the three sales projection scenarios like what is the minimum kind of a sale what is the maximum kind of a sale and what is a profitable kind of a sale that's the way actually you know they'll try to look at from all the angle so these are the ways actually you know the, uh, the forecasting has been done for a personal also so in order to work out your hr forecasting personal planning without the input from let's say like you know your sales department or a production department and all other department it is impossible to you know come out than hr planning at all so that's the way if you look into it it's a very very you know completely dependent kind of an you know forecast where all numbers are purely dependent on how other departments projection is all about based on this you know your entire personal planning has to be done and now let's try to, let's try to look at it actually you know once we are doing the things we may have to you know probably even forecast the supply of your, your own inside candidates because your own employees might be working very very hard their uh, you know efforts also has to be recognized in the in the form of a promotion in the form of transfer in the form of recognizing the work we can actually you know give them because since your own employees internal employees knows about your own company culture they could able to you know adapt to that particular job quickly so that's a way if you look into it uh, qualification you know we need to keep looking at it we need to maintain what you call it as competency mapping and uh, based on the competency mapping the qualification inventories has to be maintained in a qualification inventories there are two ways of looking at it one is a manual kind of a system and uh, try to you know replace the chart and then you know time to time keep updating your uh, you know complete your record because ev every year year on year uh, your own employees might be updating their qualification they might be undergo a lot of training program they must have developed and sharpened the skills so those aspect has to be updated the second kind of a thing is your com computerized kind of a skill inventory where uh, you maintain completely your hr portal or probably your hr package what you call the erp package and uh, through an hr applications we can able to you know try to uh, screen lot of people and based on the kind of you know job they do so these are the ways actually qualification inventories both manually as well as a computerized thing we can we need to keep updating the record so that we'll come to know that if any any position is vacant we can actually source it from our own internal sources and now let's try to look at it how do we forecast the outside candidates apply and outside candidates apply actually you know there are a lot of factors actually been uh, uh, involved in doing this particular outside uh, sourcing outside candidate supply uh, in terms of factors in supply of outside candidates your general economic condition if the economy is doing well automatically you know uh, what happens is like uh, there will be a lot of uh, what do you call it as uh, job opportunities will be open up and uh, if the economy is down then then actually you know 
your job opportunity will be you know very very less because your own business will be get affected because of the economy say so take an example let's say 2010 to you know 14 because of the economic recession and uh, effect of various other uh, you know governmental policies the economy was very very down and ultimately even everybody was in the consolidated mode and inflation rate was very very higher the employment opportunities has come down slowly from 2014 onwards you know employment opportunities have emerged so that's the way actually if you look into it your economic conditions play a very very important role and the second thing is actually you know what are the kind of an unemployment rate many people you know who are pass out engineering nowadays many of them actually you know unemployed because they are not getting the right kind of you know fit job and second thing if you look into it actually you know uh, the people who are later entry who has got an experience because of the economy uh, problem recessions they must have lost their job they must have left the job uh, they might be in a various kind of you know situations where unemployment rate will uh, increase so what is the kind of an expected unemployment rate and what is the kind of an economic conditions all this thing we need to analyze and accordingly we need to take a call take an example 2015 uh, there is a general prediction that economy will do very well and uh, it will not be very excellent at least definitely it will be in a good condition and even the unemployment rate if you look into it uh, government recently come out of the policy on removing the unemployment rate and next four years the current budget talks about improving the employment rate so these are all the best opportunity for you know uh, companies to you know probably provide more number of employment opportunity if you look at it actually you know recent budget it talks about uh, they reduce the uh, corporate taxation by 5 percentage from 30 percentage to 25 percentage so this 5 percentage reduction why they have given for in uh, corporate is basically to you know provide more number of employment opportunity for more youths that's an idea behind it so ultimately you know next three four years there will be a lot of employment opportunity will be generated so these are the kind of data the hr department has to you know take it actively and then accordingly they need to plan and when it comes to the sources of information uh, where do they get this particular forecast they can actually you know get this particular forecast uh, by periodic kind of you know business publications and all will give you an idea you have an you know uh, hr forums like nhrd or it could be nipm or it could be various other kind of you know hr association bodies do come out with a report and other than that you know your, your hr consultancies lot of consultancies who do come out with various kind of a projections reports and uh, your government uh, policies all this thing will act as a kind of an input for collecting this information and second thing is like online economic projections uh, stay for say for example cmi Center for Monitoring Indian Economy and NCAER or uh, various other governmental uh, you know projections will give you a complete idea as to what is the kind of an you know economic situations and how is the employment opportunities are going to be generated. So these are the ways actually you know we can collect complete information about what are the kind of you know uh, opportunities are available for external candidates, how many number of pool of talent we can get it, what is the way actually you know we can plan your entire manpower planning. So these are the ways actually we can do a planning and uh, so in this you know in this particular topic whole you know what we looked at is actually how we internally we try to look at it and how do we try to you know look at from external and overall how do we try to you know forecast that's what we have covered in this particular topic.